Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Let us discuss next problem on nodal analysis. In this question, we have to find out the values of V1 and V2, which are nothing but node voltages. In this circuit, there are total three nodes. These are the two nodes at which the voltages are V1 and V2. And this is the third node at which the voltage will be zero because we consider this to be the ground node. Now, why we are discussing this very simple question? Because otherwise, this is very much similar to the previous questions on nodal analysis. Now, if you remember the problem that we did before this one, there was a voltage source and no resistors in series with that between a node and the ground node. We said that we get the value of that particular node voltage directly. There is something similar in this circuit also, but not exactly same. You can see that there is a voltage source of 6 volts and no series resistors. But this time this voltage source comes between the two nodes V1 and V2. None of them is the ground node. So when this is the case, you can't write V1 equal to 6 volt or V2 equal to minus 6 volt just because the positive terminal of 6 volts is at V1 and negative terminal of 6 volt is at V2. You can only write V1 equal to 6 volt if V2 was ground node or we would write V2 equal to minus 6 volt if V1 was ground node, which is not the case right now. Now in such cases, if you plan to apply KCL at V1, when you consider current in this branch, you can't define the current because it will be, ideally it should have been the potential difference upon the resistance, there is no resistance here. Similarly, when I define current through this branch again with respect to V2, it will be potential difference divided by resistance and I face the same problem. So the conclusion is I cannot write individual KCL equations at V1 and V2. So how should we proceed? We will be using something similar to super mesh analysis that we have discussed in mesh analysis uh, in this case. It will be called super node. So we will be applying super node concept to solve this particular question. Now, what is a super node? Super node is nothing but a combination of two nodes and we form a super node whenever there is a voltage source without any series resistance between the two nodes. Please remember that none of the two nodes should be the ground node because if any one of them is the ground node, then we directly get the node voltage without talking about super node concept, something that we did in the previous question. So let us see what is super node and how do we proceed. So as I said, we define a super node. It will be nothing but combination of V1 and V2. So this is called super node. We don't write individual equation at V1 and V2. We will have to write total KCL equation considering the super node, which is combination of V1 and V2. So let us now define outgoing currents at super node. To do that, we will have to define currents at V1 first and then V2. Currents at V1. There's already a current source in this branch, which is entering or incoming current. So I keep its direction. Current through two ohm resistance can be defined to be outgoing. Now, the only difference is I will not define current in this branch because this branch comes inside this super node. So we ignore this branch. We define the next current at V2, which will be with respect to these two branches. This two ampere is again incoming. So I keep the direction and through four ohms, I define the current to be outgoing again.